first i will explain you what is the functionality of this particular dashboard or the google sheet first we have here the symbol of our stock then what is the open price for this particular stock and then we have a today's high price as well as the today's low price then here we have a previous close price and then we have here the last trading price and here we have the change value of this particular stock and the next we have here the volume then here we have 52 week high as well as the 52 week low price and here we can see the 5 days percentage change as well as the 30 days percentage change for this particular stock. Hi everyone, welcome to Excel Dose. My name is Vishal and in today's video, I will show you how you can create your own stock watch list in Google Sheet where the data will automatically get updated. So let's get started with the video. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe to our channel. Now let's move to the solution. Now I will show you that how you can create your own stock watch list in Google Sheet from the scratch. First thing is we need here the NSE symbol for this particular stock. To get the NSE symbol, what we need to do is we have to use here the concatenate function. Then in the double quotation, we have to mention the NSE and then press the comma and then we have to select the symbol of the stock and then press the enter button. So now you can see we are getting the NSE symbol for the stock. Now we have to update the today's open price for the stock. For that, we have to use the Google Finance function. And here the first argument is ticker. For the ticker, we have to select the NSE symbol, then press comma. In the double quotation, we have to mention price open and then again double quotation and close the bracket. So now you can see we are getting the open price for the stock. Now we have to get the today's high price for this particular stock. Again, we'll type Google Finance. We'll select the NSE symbol and then type high and then close the bracket. And now we have to get the today's low price. Again, we'll type Google Finance, select the NSE symbol and then type low and then close the bracket. Now we need here the previous day close price. For that, again, we'll type the Google Finance, select the NSE symbol. And now we have to type here close yesterday and then close the bracket now you can see we are getting the previous day close price now we need here the last trading price for that again we'll type google finance select the nse symbol and then we have to mention here price and then close the bracket the next we need here the total price change for the stock for that what we have to do is again we have to type here google finance select the nse symbol then we have to mention here change and then close the bracket and the next we need here the volume for the volume again we'll type the google finance select the nsc symbol and then we'll type here volume and then close the bracket now we have to update here the 52 week high as well as the 52 week low price for that again we'll type google finance select the nsc symbol and then type high 52 and then close the bracket. Now we have to update the 52 week low price. Again, we'll type the Google Finance, select the NSC symbol, and then type low 52, and then close the bracket. Now we have to update here the five days percentage change in stock price. For that, what we need to do is first we have to type here equal to, then we have to select the last trading price divided by now we have to use here the function called index and then here the further reference will use here the google finance and the next argument here is we have to select the nsc symbol and then we have to type here price which is our last trading price then we have to use here the another function which is workday and then we'll use here today and then close the bracket now we have to press comma now we have to calculate here the 5 days percentage for that we have to use here minus 5 and then close the bracket then press comma 2 comma 2 close the bracket minus 1 and then press the enter button. Now you can see we are getting the 5 days percentage change for this particular stock. Similarly we have to update here the 30 days percentage change for the stock for that what we need to do is we have to simply copy this formula and then we have to paste the formula here only thing is we have to change this 5 to the 30 and then press the enter button so now you can see we are getting the 30 days percentage change for this particular 
stock now we have to do the formatting here so that the numbers are showing in the positive or in the minus for that what we need to do is first we have to select this cell where we are showing the change value then we have to click on format then click on number and then click on custom number format now we have to mention here our custom formula for the positive value what we need to do is first we have to type here plus symbol then type hash comma double hash then type zero dot double zero and then semicolon for the negative we have to mention the minus symbol and similarly we have to mention here hash symbol comma double hash zero dot double zero and again we'll mention the semicolon for the zero value it should show as a blank or you can mention here the minus symbol now we have to mention the color for the positive value which is green for that what we need to do is we have to type here scale bracket and then type color 50 and then close the scale bracket similarly we have to apply the color for the negative value again we'll type here scale bracket and then type red and then close the scale bracket and then we have to copy this complete formula and click on apply so now you can see we are getting the change values in the green color because the total price change for this particular stock is in positive direction now similarly we have to apply the formatting for 5 days percentage change as well as the 30 days percentage change first we have to select these two cells click on format then click on number then click on custom number format now we have to make small changes here what we need to do is we have to mention here the percentage symbol before the semicolon and similarly we have to mention for the negative value and then click on apply so now you can see we are getting the 5 days percentage as well as the 30 days percentage change for this particular stock now we have to update all these formula for the remaining stock for that what we need to do is we have to go to the last stock and then select this complete range and then press the control shift up key and then press control d now you can see all the formulas are updated for the remaining stock so let's say I want to sort the data based on a value chain. For that, what we need to do is first we have to create the blank sheet with the same header name. So as you can see, I have created a one blank sheet which are having the same header name. Now we have to use here the function called sort where the first argument is range. For the range, what we need to do is we have to select this complete range till the end and then press the comma. Now here the next argument is sort column. For our sort column is column h for that what we need to do is we have to simply select this complete range and we have to mention the last value which is 181 then press comma then press 0 and then now we have to close the bracket and press enter button so now you can see our all the data has been sorted based on a change with so now we have to make small change in the google sheet so that the data will get updated automatically every time the price has been changed for that what we need to do is we have to simply click on file and then click on setting and then click on calculation and for the recalculation make sure we have selected the own change and every minute and then click on save setting so after making this change what will happen is let's say the price has been changed for the mrf so it will automatically get updated in this particular sheet also so this is how you can create your own stock watch list in google sheet I hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe to Excel Dose. Thank you so much for watching.